Hi, boys and girls. Look what I found. These little eggshells just below this tree. I'm wondering if there's a nest up there. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, this reminds me of a book I want to share with you about baby animals and how they hatch from their eggs. You know what? Hmm, I think I'm going to investigate and see if I can find that nest. I'll let you know what happens. Guess what is growing inside this egg by Mia Posada. This egg sits snugly on its father's feet. He warms it with his body's heat. Under his feathered belly, it's cozy and warm, safe from the icy Antarctic storm. Can you guess what is growing inside this egg? A penguin. How adorable. This baby penguin, or chick, lives in Antarctica, one of the coldest, windiest places on Earth. When it is hatched, its mother returns from the sea to help care for it. Now its father needs to hunt for food. He hasn't eaten in the two months that he has cared for the egg. The mother and father penguins take turns holding the little chick on their feet to keep it warm and going to the sea to hunt for fish and squid to feed it. Once it grows its waterproof feathers, the chick will be able to swim and hunt on its own. Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? This mound of dirt and sticks piled high makes a safe nest for these eggs to lie. Predators of the swamp had better keep back this sharp tooth mother will attack. Alligators. These baby alligators will grow to be nine or more feet long. They spend most of their time in the swamp water, floating on the surface or diving below like a submarine. They use their long tails as paddles to push them through the water. They hunt for birds, turtles, snakes and fish to eat. Alligators cannot chew their food. They grab their prey with their strong jaws and swallow it whole. Tall lakeshore reeds help hide the nest where these eggs lie under their mother's breast. Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? It's ducklings. Aw, as soon as their feathers are dry, they will be able to follow their mother to the nearby lake. The brother and sister ducklings walk in a line, one after the other. Ducklings do not need swimming lessons. They are born already knowing how to swim. With their webbed feet, they paddle through the water. Soon, they learn to feed on worms, water plants, and insects just below the water's surface. Their mother crawled from sea to land to bury these soft eggs in the sand. Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? Sea turtles. The tiny baby turtles hatch under the sand. They use their flippers to push themselves up to the surface of the beach. Leaving the nest at night, they must find their way to the water on their own. It is a dangerous journey as crabs and birds like to eat the tiny turtles. Once they have made it safely to the ocean, the baby turtles swim far out to sea and feed on small sea animals called plankton. As they grow, they begin to feed on larger things such as jellyfish and seaweed. When the female sea turtles are grown, they will return to the beach to lay their own eggs. This round sack of silk thread is packed full of tiny eggs. Their mother spun it with her eight long legs. Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? Ooh, spiders. Hundreds of baby spiders called spiderlings hatch from their eggs inside the egg sack. Then they tear open the sack and crawl out. Like their mother, the spiderlings have eight legs. 
They also have eight eyes, but they do not see very well. Each spiderling must find a new home. It sends out a thread of silk from its body into the air and lets the wind catch it. The wind carries the tiny spiderling away until it lands in a new place, where it will build its web. This is called parachuting. The spider's web traps insects for it to eat. Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs, hidden in a rocky cave, deep beneath the ocean's waves? Their mother wraps her long arms around to keep these eggs safe and sound. It's octopuses. You can actually see the baby octopuses inside their eggs. They are only about the size of a grain of rice when they hatch, but they are able to take care of themselves. The tiny octopuses float in the water, feeding on plankton. When they grow bigger, they use their eight arms, called tentacles, to catch crabs, fish, and clams. The octopuses hide from predators by changing their color to look just like the sand or rocks around them. The baby octopuses grow quickly. In about one or two years, they will be full grown. We've learned so much from this amazing book. And on this page, we're going to see the actual size of all the eggs that we just learned about. The penguin egg is the biggest, which surprises me. I really thought the octopus would have a bigger egg. The sea turtle's egg is nice and round. The duck egg and the alligator egg have an oval shape. And the spider is the smallest egg of them all. Wow, this is very interesting. Let's see what else we can learn from this book. Before we end this amazing book, let's take a look at the inside of a duck egg. It says here that ducklings incubate or grow inside their eggs for 26 to 28 days. If we take a look at these two pages, we can see what the egg looks like inside on the fourth day, the tenth day, the fourteenth day, and the twenty-sixth day. On the fourth day, we can see the shell, we can see a lot of the egg white, and the yolk. Inside the yolk, there is a head and a body that is starting to develop. On the tenth day, we start to see less of the egg white. We start to see a wing, a leg, and an eye develop. We also see these little red blood vessels that bring food from the yolk to the growing chick. On the fourteenth day, there is much less egg white. We also see more of the leg, we see a beak, and more of the wing. Wow! On the 26th day, there is no egg white. That duck is ready to hatch. In fact, it has an egg tooth that helps the chick break out of the shell. It falls off shortly after hatching. That is amazing! Hmm, let's see. It says here that these are the incubation times for the other animals that we learned about in this book. Mmm, baby penguins take about two months to hatch from their eggs. Baby alligators, about two months as well. Baby sea turtles, about one and a half to three months. And spiders, about three months. They go from the fall to the spring. An octopus baby takes about one month to almost a year. It depends on the species and the temperature of the water. It takes a little longer in cold water. Wow, this is so amazing. I am so happy that I shared this book with you, boys and girls. I hope you learned a lot. And until next time, happy reading and happy learning.